good morning everybody welcome back to my channel it is very early today i'm very tired there is currently no milk or coffee or breakfast in the house so i'm literally doing this without caffeine or any form of breakfast but without banging on about it too much let's get in to this autumn makeup tutorial i'm gonna start off by priming my skin i'm using the becca first light priming filter looks like this i like the fact that it's, it's purple it's cute so i'm assuming that because it's purple it's gonna have some kind of brightening effect on my face i really would hope because uh i need all the help I can get today. It smells really nice. It smells like oranges. So for foundation, we're using one of my favourites. We're using the Fenty Beauty. Um, what do you call? Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Uh, this is in the shade 270. Might be a little bit off for my face right now, but we're just gonna roll with it because I need to do a refresh of my foundations and actually just get some that are matched to my face. Uh, but I put two pumps of that onto a Sigma flat kabuki brush. This is the F80. This is an old school brush. And uh, though I'm doing this in the viewfinder and I can't actually really see what I'm doing, I'm gonna say that's my base dump. Concealer. You know which one I'm gonna use. Goes without saying really, doesn't it? I also need a little bit of lip balm. Yeah. So we're gonna be concealing my dark circles, which actually are not her as horrendous today as uh, I thought they would be. Uh, but the reason I'm so tired is because I am fresh back from Paris. So I went to Disneyland, happiest place on earth, um, for the weekend. Um, it was so lovely. I went with three of my friends and it was just a really nice kind of girls weekend full of disney quotes friends quotes um vine quotes <laughs> what else is there disney quotes friends quotes vines quotes just lots and lots of referencing tv shows that we all uh watch and it was just so nice i'm very tired now though i vlogged the whole weekend so by the time i get to hair on my face um, by the time we get to the end of this week, I will have been filming myself daily for 12 days. And it's just kind of a lot. Um, and I will have seen Lois every day for 12 days. I think we're going to be ready to have a little break from each other. Which is fine, we're both travelling a lot next month, so uh, that's all good. You know what I'm going to use? So I'm actually going to use one of the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Sticks to contour. Um, this might be a bit too light, I'm not too sure. We're gonna try it. I used it on my friend the other day um, as a bronzer. I did Stevie's makeup whilst we were in Disney, uh, which her face is very similar to mine um, in a lot of ways. So it was the easiest makeup I think I'll ever do. But yeah, I used this as a little bit of a bronzer on her because my Rimmel contour stick was way, way too dark for her. So we'll see how this goes. I might put a little bit of the Rimmel one on after, maybe. I just love stick contours stick bronzers anything like creamy it's not a powder i'm really really into i just find it looks so much better on my skin and it doesn't last too badly either i think lots of people shy away from it because they think it's just going to slip right off their face but it doesn't really i'm going to look weird for a bit so <laughs> we'll speed through this but i really like these foundation sticks they are so nice to blend and because they are foundation sticks that i'm obviously using as a contour they just make your skin look really really flawless um i'm a fan i am a big fan um because it kind of adds that extra bit of coverage for the skin not that i was kind of in need of that but i think like for nights out it's these are an amazing choice i'm just gonna put a tiny bit of my rimmel contour stick right there just to add a little bit more depth because that is quite a warm um shade i've just used this will all look so much better in a minute I promise. okay now that's done i am just going to add some of my mark jacobs um perfecting coconut setting mist i love this stuff it's amazing okay now i'm going to move on to eyes and i'm going to start off by using the l'oreal infallible 24 hour pomade um I'm just gonna take this on this little concealer end of my It Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna pop that on my eyelid. 
it's just going to work as a nice base and because it is um kind of a concealer it will um just cover up any of my dark kind of like patches or veins on my eyelid of which because i am quite tired i have a lot of today it's looking my face in general is just looking very dark very ashy i need vegetables i need sleep the full shebang i actually forgot that i wanted to add a blush on so i'm going to be using the lancome cushion blush in the shade 22 because this autumn makeup look is going to be a little bit more bold i feel like i want my skin to tie in nicely with my eyes and my lip color <laughs> Okay, so to start with my eyes, I'm going to be using this middle shade from the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. Um, I picked this up the other day just because it has the most beautiful autumn colours in it. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just taking the middle shade and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush for this because I want this um, eyeshadow look to be really like blown out and really soft um, because we are going to go for a bold lip. And because it's a bright kind of neon -y bold lip, I want uh it to look really perfect like i can't really like smudge that out or make it messy um it really won't look um quite right on me so to counteract that i'm gonna have my eye look really like blown out and soft but still really bold i really love that middle shade it's like the perfect neutral shade for my eyelid and then i'm gonna be taking this orange shade at the bottom and i'm just gonna be layering that up and blending that out so I'm blending that over the entire eyelid and I'm taking it quite far up onto my brow bone just for that first layer and then as we go I'll concentrate it more. And then to finish this all up I'm going to really concentrate the orange eyeshadow around the center of my eye using a Real Techniques deluxe crease brush. And then I'm gonna be taking this light bronzy shade here underneath my lower lash line. And I'm also taking that in my inner corner as well. So I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabral Brow Gel. As always, favourite brow gel. Love this stuff so much. Uh, I use the shade 6. And then I'm just going to be going over my brows using the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. This is the brown medium pen. And I just use this to darken up any areas that I am struggling with or to perfect the shape a little bit more. Okay, so brows are done and now I'm going to be using mascara. I'm going to be using the YSL The Curler Mascara and a little bit of the NARS uh, Climax Mascara just because I really want to make them very, very volumized. Volumized? Volumized. Voluminized. I don't know. One of those. So today I am just going to be catching on, up on my life a little bit. I really need to get some food in my fridge. I need to watch the last of the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series because I'm so behind on that. I need to catch up on American Horror Story. I have got so many emails to get back to whilst I'm in the office today. I need to get back in the gym after I've been at work. So much catching up to do. It's gonna be a busy day, but I'm really excited to just get back in the office and get back working. And we're kind of coming to the end of Vlogtober, so I'm planning for November now, which is really exciting. Um, so there's lots of like things coming up in November, some that I've never done before. Um, and I'm really, really excited for that. So I'll still be making videos throughout November um, and I'll be vlogging like, some of the stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, there definitely, there definitely is not gonna be five videos a week coming at you in November. And then November's gonna fly by as it always does. Literally October, November, go in the blink of an eye. And then it's December, all the vlogs start again. Um, I'm not sure in what capacity I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year. 
I'm definitely doing it because I love it but um I don't think I'm going to be doing five videos a week like this month because I actually think that might break me. I think lots of people watch these videos and they think but you just sit down and film a video and that's it and you edit the video that's it that's it it's really there's so much more than just the videos now it's a lot so I'm gonna be doing vlogmas but it probably won't be five videos a week It'll be a little bit less than that but it will still be enough to call it vlogmas I actually love this makeup look orange really works on my eye color I actually think it's one of those colors people shy away from because I think we shy away from things that are too warm like you know like red we all kind of shy away from that I actually think oh no that's really sad oh I didn't realize that was on my hand no yeah I think um orange is actually a really nice universal color uh it works really nicely if you have blue eyes if you have green eyes I just think it works really really nicely on everybody so uh, yeah I'm a fan of this. I was actually thinking, oh god, this makeup looks going to be so bold. I'm going to have to wear it into the office and I'm going to feel really uncomfortable, blah, 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 blah. I actually am just going to, I can help you wear this. I'm just going to run some brow gel. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Pro. I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows and set them in place. Eyebrows definitely need some maintenance. I'm going to get on that at some point the next couple of weeks because they're a bit out of control and then to finish this whole makeup look off i'm going to be using the buxom lip pencil this is well loved i really really like this pencil i used it a lot over the summer but i actually saw um there's this girl i follow in, on instagram i think her instagram is snitchery and i love her and she did a makeup look very very similar to this and she was wearing a really really bold um kind of neon lip color and it looked so perfectly autumnal who thought? Um, so that's what inspired me to do this. But I might use a slightly darker colour actually. Um, I'll give you two options. But yeah, for those of you who are wondering where the Disney content is, the vlog will be up tomorrow. I'm very excited for you to see it. It was meant to be up today, but I haven't been able to finish off the edit. I originally planned for it to be edited as I was going along um, in Disney and it just didn't really happen that way. I think I was very over ambitious with how I thought that was gonna go down. The Disney vlogs will be tomorrow and Thursday. I'm really annoyed there is a delay because I can't wait to upload them, but that is just the way this is rolling. Um, I just want them to be the best they can be and not just kind of like rush and upload. So this is the makeup look with the more kind of pinky, kind of neon -y coral color. And then I'm also gonna give you the option, which this would be my favorite option, I would say. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Tell Laura, very, very similar to my all-time favorite 1975 red, which I still own a few of, but it's obviously been discontinued, but this one is very, very similar. I love it. I wore this one whilst I was in Disney. That's more what I had in mind. So yeah, that is my bold autumn makeup look. I would say you could finish it off with a very warm bronzer as well, just to kind of tie it all in together. So yeah, that is the kind of finished autumnal makeup look, bold autumnal makeup look, whatever this is called. Um, I'm just going to finish off by using some of my MAC um mineralized skin finish in give me sun which is a very kind of like warm orange toned bronzer because so i think it will just tie the skin in nicely to the eye makeup it just needs a little bit more warmth that is my complete bold autumnal makeup look i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this it's something a little bit different to what i've done for my autumn looks in the past normally they're very kind of like burgundy lip gold eyeshadow all of that but this is very matte um, on the eyes and lips and then a very dewy base and it's lots of very warm orangey tones but in a capacity that I have never done before and I really like it. I'm actually probably going to stay like this for the rest of the day because it's cute. But yeah, that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again tomorrow for my Disney vlogs.